Hi. I, today I'm really excited. I want to talk about my whole experience doing some glutide. I get this question a lot. I get a lot of specifics on like my exact journey through my entire program. Most quiet place in my life right now, having four boys is in my car. First, I just want to start out by saying I have enjoyed every minute with all of you. You all will find a way to contact me and it has just been so fun getting to know you. In a weight loss journey, it's hard to find a community. It's usually like find someone, find someone that you're comfortable with, that can go to the gym with you, that can you know hold you accountable. And I feel like in this scenario with this medication, it's a little different. It's more of an adjustment period. I mean, all diets are an adjustment period, but this is an adjustment period. Your body's going through such a significant change with a different, a new medication. It's kind of like this untouched territory of like not really knowing how to handle it. And the people around you don't really know how to handle it. So I want to be that person for you. And I really hope that, you know, I'm in support of all of you and all of your decisions. A little bit of background on me. So I am from Utah. I have been born and raised here. I love it. It's freezing. You can see it's snowing outside. <laughs> My husband and I, we got married. We got pregnant really fast. Um, not planned. Just my weight loss background. Um, when I met my husband, I had just lost 16 pounds and I was 180. And I'm 5'9". I weighed 180 at the time. I had just lost 16 pounds doing keto and I loved that. Keto was great. It's like it definitely it takes some dedication, but I loved keto. I, there was a stage in my life in high school when I was really, really active and I was thin. But after that, um, it was really difficult for me, especially after having my children. I was having a hard time bouncing back, which is a horrible term. I don't like that term. I don't like the time limits. I don't like all of that because I didn't fit into any of that and it always made me feel bad about myself. I had my first baby in 2017. I did keto again because of my success and I had lost like 15 pounds again around the same. I was really happy that I had bounced back in the sense of like being back to what I was. And then I got pregnant with my second, third and fourth. I never lost the weight. So it kind of just piled on. So like with my second, I never lost the weight after I had him and then I had, I gained a little bit more and then I got pregnant again, gained a little bit more, got pregnant, gained a little bit more. So it kind of just piled on and it got to the point where I was like, this is getting out of hand. I need to figure out my life and I don't want to be like this forever. Like I just felt constantly self-conscious, constantly like my clothes didn't fit. I started just wearing tents for clothing. Like there was no other option for me. At least it didn't feel like there was another option for me. Even when I would get ready, I didn't feel like I looked like myself. It was, it was a really hard time. So I had heard from a friend about semaglutide. She wasn't doing it. She had just heard about it online. Or I had a doctor's appointment with a new doctor and I was like, I might as well just ask him. Well, when I asked him, he was kind of like, yeah, I've heard about it don't know much about it, don't have anyone taking it in my practice, but I'll prescribe it for you. So he gave it to me and it kind of made me not feel very confident in it because he was kind of just like, meh, yeah, I've heard about it. He also didn't really see if it was like right for me. I'm sure he knew that it was something that I should do, but... It just didn't feel like there was confidence coming from him. It just felt more like, yeah, I'll prescribe it. Sure. I got the prescription from him and I kind of knew going in that I wasn't going to go back to him just because of his unsurety in it. Immediately I started losing weight. I was really nervous. I was not confident in it working because nothing has ever worked for me. I also didn't have anyone to like watch or there was, there was really nothing on line. I mean, there were people who had lost weight from it, but there wasn't really anyone talking about it. Like it was kind of just like, Oh, figure it out. Like go take it. Cause a lot of the people that were taking it, were taking it for type two diabetes. And I was looking at it for weight loss. So I didn't really feel like I had a community. I kind of just was winging it. I ended up 
losing weight right away and that does not happen for everyone so if you're watching this like don't compare yourself to everyone's journey it's so different for everyone keep in mind while I'm saying this entire video is that I am NOT a doctor I am NOT a nurse I am a hairstylist and a mom mom number one just keep in mind that I'm not a doctor when I very first took my shot I didn't feel anything I took I had the five to one medication concentration um, and I do know that there's like a half of that where it's 2.5. I took 10 units for two weeks and then I took 20 units and I took 20 units for six weeks. And then after that, I ended up, it went up slowly. Like I went 25, 30, 35, and then I was at 40 for a minute. Like I want to say a couple weeks and then I hit 50 and then I started going backwards. Cause once I hit 50, I hit my goal weight. Back to my first experience. When I very first took my shot, I didn't feel anything for the first week. My whole first week, I was completely fine. Like I remember thinking it's not working. Like my very first thought was like, this isn't gonna work for me, but whatever. So then second week came then I got really, really sick. So my second week, I took my shot and then two days later I got sick I don't know why that was a pattern for me but it was I would take my shot and then two days later I was sick so then my second week I was sick and when I say I'm sick I'm like nauseous through the day not feeling great but the two days after my shot it was as if I had the flu I was down for the count I threw up I was barely able to take care of my kids it ended up getting better and it's not like pregnancy sickness I mean nothing like it pregnancy sickness for me I would like not there was no curing the feeling and this was way better I would be able to like take a Zofran and the nausea would go away or I would throw up and the nausea would go away but it was only like one day that I was like sick like the flu all the other days it was more just nauseous a third week same thing two days later I was sick fourth week two days later I was sick the only times I, re I only ever threw up three times so it does take time to build up when people immediately like take the shot and they're like nothing's happening and it's like well because it's not in your system yet so you have to build up to the therapeutic dose luckily people can lose weight until they get like leading up to the therapeutic dose but not everyone does some people will sit at the same weight until they hit the therapeutic dose so if that's something you're concerned about you know, talk to your providers so that they can help you in that area too. All providers kind of look at this differently. Doses are different. Your concentration of your medication is different. Everything is a little bit different. So then I ended up being on semaglutide every week. I took it for five months straight every week. Sorry, my lips are killing me. So after my five months, I ended up I got I got down so I started at 195 and I got all the way down to so I was at 140 which was my goal and I'm 5'9 140 was my goal I hit 139 and I started to panic like I don't even kind of know the last time I weighed 130 anything like I had to be in middle school like it was just way too low it was starting to make me panic I had a friend who was a part of a semaglutide um, research study where they were testing to see if semaglutide is in breast milk and she was on she was on semaglutide for a time I don't know the details but she was on semaglutide for a time and then they would test her breast milk and it stayed in her breast milk for six weeks that I was like okay I'm gonna be able to keep the medication in my system but um, I'm not going to have to like take it every single week. My maintenance dose, I ended up going from weekly to bi-weekly. And then after a few months, I went down to monthly. And I've only been on it for monthly for just like a, a couple months. You know, a lot of people ask me like, are you going to be on this forever? And I want to say, no, I'm not. But at the same time, it has, it helped so much in my life like including this everything for with like my PCOS my period ended up it was different but it was better I have a lot of like the hormonal issues from PCOS and that it doesn't really help that but as far as like my body weight obviously it helped that and a lot of my inflammation went down in my joints that was just something I felt I wasn't like told that I just felt that it really changed my life so 
no, I don't want to be on it for the rest of my life. Um, I think a super tiny dose right now monthly has been great for me, but at the same time, I, I'm fine being on it. <laughs> um, I do know there are a lot of side effects, uh, not just the like minor ones of like throwing up and you know, feeling nauseous. I was dizzy. I was super tired. The week two to week five, I was wildly tired. It was really, really hard, really hard for me to take care of my kids just because I wanted to sleep all day long. I would do it all over again if I could. I'm really, really, really grateful for it. And I'm so glad I found it. And honestly, find a support system. I feel like there's a whole group of people who are like, Oh, I don't really want to tell people that I'm on it. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to tell anyone that you're on it. But I will say that telling people helped me with my support. I will say with the eating, I figured out early on, on all my socials, I, I always like to tell people, make sure you're having a lot of protein, protein intake and water intake. Super important. But more than that, it's important for the sustenance during your day. It was always later in the day for me when I just didn't really want to eat, but you have to remember semaglutide can slow your gastric system. And so it's keeping that food in your stomach longer. So you don't want like to eat something sugary and have it sitting in there longer all day, right? Like that doesn't make sense. Right. When I would wake up, I would have like a protein shake or I would have eggs. I would have something that was going to like sustain me for quite some time. And then I was drinking water like wildly. Like I was drinking water like a crazy person. And I, that is, if you know me, <laughs> that is not me. I am a soda girl and I love like Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke. And I couldn't even get myself to drink soda while I was on this. It was actually really weird. It was like changing so many of my habits. I know this sounds crazy and there are, you can go Google it, <laughs> but there are studies of people saying that once they start some glutide, some of their bad habits kind of go away. One of my bad habits, which like I don't like addiction wise, like I don't gamble, I don't drink, I don't do any of that, but I do online shop and my online shopping like plummeted. Like I just had no desire. I just didn't want to do it. And I do know that a lot of people have told a similar story of how they don't want to gamble anymore. Or they don't want to drink alcohol anymore. I don't drink but I do know that drinking alcohol on this um, can make you sick. It can be dangerous drinking while on some glutide. So that's just something to also consider. But honestly, it's worth it. Like for me and there, I might even get a bunch of comments coming in here saying like someone they know got sick from this. And that is a possibility. You have to know the risks. Uh, informed consent is, I am a huge advocate for it. So make sure you know the risks before you take this. For me, the benefits outweighed them. I'm grateful. I am so grateful. My life has changed for the better. I'm, I feel healthier. I'm more active. It's way easier to just get around. I'm not lugging 55 extra pounds around, but now for 2024, I'm on to a whole new journey of building muscle. And, um, I did not work out while I was on semaglutide. I regret that. I was just coming out of postpartum. I had my baby in January. Not only did I have a baby and not only was I totally out of not working, like I hadn't been working out in so long. I didn't have a workout regimen. I also, we were moving and we had word that my husband was getting deployed in my head, adding working out on top of all of these new things was just too much for me. Finally in this new year and I feel that I'm at the capacity to finally take it on. So I am going to hopefully get into the world of gaining some muscle, weightlifting, a whole new me. Thank you for following me along in my journey. If you have questions, let me know. You can get access to semaglutide through the link in my bio by using my code. But I just want you all to know, like, I'm proud of you, whether the decision is to do it or not. Do what's best for you. Hopefully this makes you feel more like you. I would say that that is probably the best part of this entire journey has been looking in the mirror and saying like, that's, that's how I have viewed myself. This is how I have envisioned myself my whole life, but it's not what other people were seeing. And I know that like my body and my image isn't what is most important. 
but it's also really nice to feel that it like reflects what's in my head I do know that I've gained like so much more confidence back and I feel like a different person so good luck and let me know if you have any questions send this to whoever you know might be starting some glutide or trisepatide follow me oh what is it that all the youtubers say my son will think it's so cool smash that subscribe button <laughs> I can't do that I can't say that subscribe and share with your friends comment do all the things and maybe I'll be sharing more about my personal life more about my husband's deployment more about my life as a mom of four boys it will be a fun journey here together on YouTube <laughs> I'll see you on the flip side